Welcome to the Pizza Kitchen. Do you like stew? Personally, I like chicken noodle soup, but that's a bit off topic. You see, there are 12 stews in Minecraft, and out of all of them, there's only one that matters. But to get to that one, we have to put a definition on what makes a good soup. So what does make a good stew? Well, obviously, to be a good soup, it has to have some purpose beyond just being food, because there's so many better meals. And the purpose that these stews have has to be good enough to be used in certain scenarios without dramatic drawbacks. So now that we have the infrastructure of what makes a good soup, we need to kick a few stews from the pizza restaurant. We will hone in on the only criteria, the purpose beyond cuisine. In other words, why is it better than sticking the FDA approved Mutant Pig Farms pork chops in your mouth? First, we need to punt beetroot soup because it is made of the most useless crop in Minecraft and it takes six beets to make one stew and you only get one beet per plant. To put this into perspective, using one water source, you can get 80 blocks of farmland. Each beetroot takes 10 to 30 minutes to grow, so if every everything grows at the maximum rate for an entire hour, you can hypothetically get 80 soups, which seems like a lot. However, this would take all of your time because you would have to stand there and harvest for the entire hour, which doesn't even compare to Logical Geek Boy's FDA approved sustenance farm that produces 4,000 an hour with only one layer and you can AFK. So beetroot soup is out, which by this precedent would force out mushroom stew, and rabbit soup. So we only have the nine suspicious stews left. They are called suspicious because when you come across them in the wild, you don't know what effect they will cause. It's almost like gambling, but built directly into Minecraft. Some of them have good effects and some not so much. But that raises the question of why would anyone want to make a soup that causes you harm? Yes, maybe for trolling friends, but in this video, we are looking at the practical uses of stews. So this would boot four. Bats created with Azure Bluette, Toxins created with Lily of the Valley, Noodle Arms created with Tulips, and Death created with Wither Roses. My only weakness. And then there were five. But only one of these five will remain, so let's go down the list and see. Defying fire, created with alliums, could be useful. However, the only time I could see it getting used is if someone falls in the lava, in which case the person would need to fill their pockets with the four second long soup to keep them alive. So. Fire res is now cut. Saturation, made with the blood of blue orchids and dandelions, is one of the least useful effects because every food gives some saturation, just this one gives you more. It's like if you ate bricks, but some bricks made you feel more full than others. Bounce boost is made from corn flowers, and at first, it seems like it could be pretty useful. However, because it only lasts for six seconds, its capabilities are pretty much nothing. Because by the time you are building big structures or using jump boost, you would presumably have a beacon. As you are probably realizing, most of these are useless based on the amount of time the effect lasts. And this one is no different. I mean, who needs to see in the dark for only five seconds after collecting poppy? Pretty much no one, unless you are scared of the dark. So that leaves the last one. It is regeneration. Why regen? Well, there are two main reasons. One, every future fight you will no longer lose hearts. And two, if you are playing in an ultra hardcore world, you can regen hearts just like Palpatine. Return. Potential. Has never been stronger. I hope I ruined your perspective on stews and consider stirring the subscribe button. Bye!